in America we have this marvelous history of our land and our country that the pilgrims came across the sea out of poverty and abuses of their Lord and King to pursue God the Father and Divine Mother. And as a result of that, we have grown through history and heritage to the point we are in time. But the question I like to ask people the most when they give me a chance and when they've dropped their guard and they've stopped fighting the truth that God knows them is what do you think God wants for you, not me? What do you think God wants for you in your life and your love life because that's really what life is about love is really life is really about finding a partner and a partnership that is not totally about sex but it's about what can be accomplished on behalf of the Lord and Savior that you profess to believe in what is your calling and is your calling be really being really utilized in the relationship that you have personally chosen based on looks or ass or class or money because let's face it that's basically how people tend to choose partners today unless of course they've got opportunity to go the matchmaking way but at the same time they're looking for that partner and I'm asking you that when you chose your partner or your new partner did you ask God to give you a sign and did you give a list of the characteristics as a young person to the Lord of what you really want in your life as a partnership? Or did you just kind of forget to involve God at all in any of your love liaisons that either gave you a marvelous time and beautiful children or a total horrible end because it really wasn't meant to last?